Welcome to Elevator World's webinar series. I am T. Bruce McKinnon, the president of Elevator World and your host today. Today's webinar is presented by SnapCab, and this is part two of a two-part series. The topic is how to keep your team working during the COVID-19 recession. Uh, you can find out more about the first part on Elevator World's website, as well as our YouTube channel. In today's webinar, presenters Brittany Brothers, Interior Specialist, and John Kerr, National Sales Manager at SnapCab, will share some solutions on how SnapCab's Elevator Interior System can keep your business busy and bringing in more business. SnapCab's interlocking paneling system has revolutionized the elevator industry. This system is simple to install and simple to sell. And SnapCab provides you with all the tools you need to get the job done and move on to the next one. During today's presentation, I encourage you to post your questions in either the question and answer section or the chat box. And after the presentation, uh, we'll be happy to answer any of your posted questions. Brittany, you may begin the presentation. Thank you, Bruce. So thank you everybody for joining us today. We're really excited to be here. Um, we've got a presentation put together for you that will last about 25 minutes and then we will do the questions and answers at the end. So as Bruce mentioned, uh, myself, uh, Brittany Brothers, I am a regional interior specialist and then John Kerr, our national sales manager will be presenting to you today. So with the pandemic hitting this year, we've seen a lot of changes on, in our industry. People are being laid off because there's not enough work. People are becoming more budget cautious with their investments. And just overall, it's been a more challenging time for many. So today we're gonna talk to you about how to keep your team working during this recession, but also giving a budget-friendly investment opportunity for your customers. So I'm sure some of you might be thinking, you know, right now may not be the right time to be remodeling elevators, or how would you even approach prioritizing these upgrades? So I've got answers to this and we'll discuss it a little bit as we go through. So to begin with, let's talk about who we are and how that impacts you. So to begin with, SnapCab has been in the industry for 37 years. We've got two manufacturing plants, one in Warrington, Pennsylvania, and one in Kingston, Ontario. We've got over 100 employees, and then we've done over 19,000 SnapCab interiors in North America. So we've got a large footprint um, here in North America, and this is actually what you're seeing uh, that map is an actual live map of all of our installations. So why right now, why is right now a good time to be investing in cab interiors? So I'm sure you're probably thinking a building could use maybe a new machine or maybe a complete modernization, but the reality is, is that right now the customer wants an upgrade that has the highest impact for the least expensive investment. So knowing that elevators have the highest traffic per square footage space in the entire building. It's where the building owner can get the largest impact for their renovation dollars. So how SnapCab works, we help you sell the product. Um, so we help you work with your, your customers to make sure that uh, they're well taken care of and it sells, but then you actually do the installation. So you're able to keep that work in house. So not only are you going to be increasing your sales, but you're also going to keep your mechanics working by keeping that work in house. So overall, you're gaining additional profit for not only for your branch. So Let's look at it from a monetary value a little bit. So I think everyone can agree that around 20,000 is probably a healthy budgetary number for a cab interior renovation. So throughout this presentation, we're gonna talk about using that budgetary number of 20,000 to look at how we can turn that into a healthy margin of anywhere from 60 or sorry, 50 to 65% for your branch you're going to have happy salespeople because they're going to be bringing in more jobs. You're going to have a happy superintendent because they're keeping that work in-house and keeping their mechanics busy. And then overall, a successful branch that's profitable. So how do we do that? 
we do that through how our product is simple to sell and simple to install. So I'm sure there might be a few of you on the call that are very familiar with our installations, but maybe you're not aware of all the resources we have available. And for those of you that aren't familiar with our installation, let me explain a little bit more for you. So our cabs are a repeatable interlocking design. Um, it allows the interiors to install the same way every time, regardless on what's on the surface material. It's simple to learn through our resources that we offer, but it's also simple to install with the tools we offer too. So let's look at the installation just a bit. So it starts out with these toe kick binders. That's the uh, satin aluminum piece you see at the bottom. And that's the bottom channel. So once that's in place, then the panels just start stacking uh, within that bottom channel. So you can see here um, how the first panel goes in and it just screws directly to the shell of the cab. So something else I'd like to mention here, if you look in the corner, you'll see our corner reveals. They're just a double-sided adhesive peel and stick reveal. But the reveal or the panel overlaps the reveal by about half of the size of uh, the reveal. So that allows for a variant, um, or it, it allows to help hide any inconsistencies with the shell of the cab. So if it's not a square cab, which is most cabs aren't, then it's gonna help distract the eye to where you've got that extra, um, it's about an inch and a half play on each side, right and left to help um, cover any inconsistencies with the shell. So our system, we refer to it as mistake proof because we do have situation or we do have systems like that worked into our design. Um, and going back to the repeatable portion of it, um, it's always going to use this tongue and groove joint that you're seeing right here. And then the panels uh, also are always going to come with pre-mounted handrails. So you're not going to have to drill those or measure them. They're always at code compliant height. Here's again, just another picture showing pre-mounted handrails. You finish putting all the panels into place. And then the last piece is gonna be your top cap. So it is just a, a, a piece that finishes the panels in a decorative manner, but also it has a few other benefits as well. Um, it's got a sight guard at the very top, but also it's got one other benefit I can show you is it has a channel to where the cab pads can sit into the top cap. So our cab pads all come with integrated cab hooks. So it's easy application for your customer and there's no drilling once again, that's necessary. So that's the installation in a nutshell. Um, once again, it doesn't matter what the surface material is, it's gonna install the same way. Also, we provide you with this installation kit. You're gonna have this with every job that you do of ours. Um, as you can see, everything pictured here comes with it, um, even down to garbage bags for after your, uh, to, to help clean up after you're done and even cleaner product to clean off the panels after you've uh, installed them. Another thing I'd like to mention, if you look to the right hand side, you'll see a mechanic survey form. So that survey form, it, it allows the installation crew to have a voice to give us feedback um, to tell us anything that we can improve upon to make their job easier. And we take that feedback and we've basically created this installation kit due to it. So it's very valuable to us. Also, another thing that we've gained through that is we've been able to gauge the average installation hours for all jobs. So this is an average of all jobs across uh, North America. As you can see, a horizontal or a vertical are both taking under a team day for the walls and the ceiling to be installed. So here's an actual mechanic survey where um, you can see some true feedback. So we'll start with the one on the left. So where the arrow's pointing, um, it says that there's only one, or sorry, uh, they've never done an installation before of snap caps. So under that, you'll see it took them one hour for the demolition and five hours for the installation. Then all around, they said the product was great, it was simple to install. Then on the right-hand side, we've got a snap cab bet. Sounds like he's done over 16 uh, installations and actual demolition hours were two and installation hours were three. Um, and 
Also, another thing that we're really proud of is throughout all of these mechanic surveys, we had the average uh, based off of their ratings, where it's the poor all the way to excellent on the right hand side, we're receiving 4.6 out of five stars. So that's huge to us because it's really important to us to know that the mechanics enjoy the products and enjoy the installation too. So we're happy to have that. With the, inst or with the order forms, basically as long as you can read a measure and tape within an inch then you're going to be able to fill out this order form so we encourage it to be filled out by either you know supervisors mechanics sales reps um, anyone with a measure and tape basically that can read it within an inch um, the order forms very user friendly as well so here you can see that we put together pictures for you just to choose which one it is and check it for us. Um, even down to like say, toe kick is a great example. So you choose out of these four and then run the measuring tape twice. The order form altogether takes about 15 minutes tops uh, to finish it. Um, and then as you do more of these, you get even more efficient with it. So once we have that order form, basically we're able to streamline the booking process for you. So that order form, it cross checks itself. So we're very thorough in making sure that we have all of the accurate dimensions. And then once we do that, um, we can provide the approval drawings within three to five business days always, and uh, just to confirm everything. And then also with the booking process, we're, uh, we, we consider ourselves selves very reliable. So we know that you're busy. So we try to send you as many follow, we send you a follow up on a weekly basis just to let you know anything that's outstanding um, prior to the job bookings. And then once we receive everything that we need to book the job, then we give you a ship date, a hard ship date. And with that ship date, we're punctual. We have a 97% on-time delivery with our ship dates. After the job ships, we send you an email that has all of the uh, installation su support and kickoff meeting information for you. So if we look at some of those blue highlighted sections, you'll see the SnapCab Care and Use Guide. Um, you've got the installation instructions. You've even got a video. You've got all the tracking information too. So once again, we try to just make this as simple as possible to work with us. Uh, we try to check all of the boxes for you so you don't have to remember to check them all yourselves. So all in all, essentially, we've got your back. Um, we we uh, try to assist you as much as we can uh, throughout the entire process and stay really involved to make sure you're well taken care of. But not only do we take care of you? We also make sure to take care of your customer. So we have a three-year warranty on our interiors versus the industry standard of a, about a year. And also they, uh, your customer can rest assured that everything that they buy from us is going to have a um, code compliant product testing completed as well. And here's just an example of that care and use guide that we send out. Um, so during, uh, during these times right now, it's very important to make sure that the cab interiors are being cleaned properly. So we're doing everything we can to make sure that this is constantly updated with any, um, any new um, cleaning options, but then also to make sure that the customer's cleaning it with products that are going to, um, that are going to work well with the finishes as well. So that's the installation. Um, so now that you know a little bit more about that, let's look at how, how, how we can help you to get the job sold as well. So as everyone knows, the design portion can be the most timely consuming process um, with working or with the entire interior renovation process, basically. Um, but whenever you work with SnapCab, we're able to remove some of that workload from your plate. And we get uh, heavily involved to support you with the cell and also to help build rapport with your customer. So to talk about some of those sales tools, we've got uh, quite a few different options available. 
And the most popular one is our design sessions. So a design session is where we have a webinar with your customer and we actually build them a cab interior based off of their design intent. So with this, your customer's getting a more personalized experience. They're able to design a cab. And if you give me a budget to stay within, then I'm mindful of that and show them materials that are gonna stay within that budget. So the beautiful thing about design sessions is not only the customer, the experience that the customer receives, but also we have about a 90% close rate whenever we do these design sessions. So at the end of one of these, it takes anywhere from like 30 minutes up to an hour to complete it. And by the end of that, we've essentially streamlined the approval process. We've confirmed materials. Um, we've, if, if there was a budget, we've worked within that and we can send out samples directly to your customer. We can send out renderings, uh, even these presentation boards as well. And so we do all of this as just a sales resource for you to help you bring the jobs in. Um, there's no additional charge for any of these uh, sales tools that we provide. But also, we do have quite a few online resources, too, if you would like to introduce uh, SnapCab to your customer. And it's very user friendly. So to look at a few of those, here is an example of our showroom. So our showroom has all of our standard models. And if you look to the left hand side of the screen, you'll see where it says price. So we list out from lowest to higher uh, for the price ranges. Basically, what we're trying to do here is we want to give your customer an idea of if they're looking at a low-end cab or mid-range or a high-end cab so, uh, so they can be more mindful with their decisions and, uh, and hopefully have a, a smoother process. Whenever you click into one of these cab interiors, here's an example of the page that you would see. So if you look under the largest picture, you'll see smaller pictures. And it's basically to give a customer a different feel for what different color laminates and how it would change the appearance of the cab, but also paired with different style ceilings too. So very user-friendly here. As far as quoting, you can request a quote through our online uh, website, or you could also do a quick quote form that's just a one-page form. Or what I think is easiest is just reach out to me directly so we can discuss the job. You can let me know any, um, any special requirements within the job as well. And then regardless how you submit a quote to us, we turn them around within 24 hours. So you're going to get a quote. It's going to have the cab weights on it as well. And you're going to have a rendering built to scale. So essentially, whenever you're working with SnapCab, um, really all you have to do is just get us involved. Um, and, and we can help out from the selling portion. We can make sure that your customer has a, a, a unique personalized experience as well. And essentially all we need from you is just the introduction and a qualified lead. So let's talk a little bit about some materials. So uh, we have loads of surface materials. Um, on our website, you will be able to see more details on all of these materials, or I can always provide it to you as well. But here's our Gorilla Glass options. Here's some metal options. We've got laminate options as well. So speaking of laminate options, so let's go back to that $20,000 budget that we had discussed earlier. Um, so let's see how we can take that $20,000 budget and turn it into uh, you know, this profitable job that we're discussing. So looking at this cab interior, it's laminate walls. It has a frame uh, translucent diffuser style ceiling with LED tube lights behind it and a handrail on the rear wall with all stainless steel reveals. So this is a nice upgrade for an interior, um, but yet it's economical as well. For a 2,500 pound car, eight feet tall, standard height, you're gonna be looking at about $5,000 for this cab interior. So if we look at that $5,000 and kind of break it up a little bit um, into this $20,000 job, 
So we already talked about the labor portion and how the mechanics, directly from the mechanics, they're saying it's taking them a day to do this job or to do the interior. Um, let's assume that that labor portion is somewhere around $5,000. And there, you know, with that 5,000, there's gonna be a, a little bit of margin worked in there as well. But looking at a 15 or for this example, we'll look at a $20,000 budget. You could potentially have a, a very large profit there. Um, or let's say, you know, a supervisor says, I don't want to just do one day of labor because you never know what could go wrong. It could be really difficult doing the demolition. So let's cover ourselves, do two days of labor. Let's look at the same scenario, but putting two days of labor. So let's double that labor portion. Obviously, there's going to be some margin there, but still, you're going to be able to turn back some of that labor to where you're able to either get around $5,000 in profit or more if you're able to turn back more of that labor cost as well. So if you had, imagine you had were able to sell two cabs a month. Um, which sounds pretty feasible uh, if, I mean, most buildings have multiple units anyway, so maybe one, one cab job a month. So if you were to sell two a month, you'd be looking at annual sales of almost half a million dollars. And what that would look like with the margin, considering uh, the margin on the job, and then also the labor margin too, you could potentially be turning around anywhere like 300,000 or more in margin. So pretty healthy, healthy job and uh, economical budget really um, in the, whenever you look at the investment opportunities available. So really just at SnapCab throughout everything that we do, we try to put ourselves in your shoes. We try to think about what can we do to make your life easier. We offer support throughout all stages because we don't wanna just make one sell with you. We want to build a relationship with you. We wanna do many jobs with you. We strive to make cab interior simple to quote, simple to sell and simple to install. Just think of the cab interior as a zipper. It goes up the same way every time. It doesn't really matter what's on the surface of the material. We minimize the back and forth with your customers while selling the job, but we also give you all of the tools and resources to help you gain efficiencies during the installation in the field. So really working with SnapCab is truly that easy. Essentially, all we need is just the opportunity to work with you and we can help create profitable work to keep your teams busy. Now, if anyone has any questions, we would love to answer them for you. Nice, very very good job, Brittany. I really uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, I've I've got a few questions. <clears throat> I was interested in um, um, how long have you guys been, you know, helping contractors and the industry sell the product, you know, through this uh, demonstration and, and all of that. How long have you guys been doing that? You mean as far as like uh, providing like design assistance? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, or meeting directly with the, the you know, the, the property owner, with the contractor and trying to, you know, help them select uh, the cab. When have you, how long have y'all been using that process? Well, John has about 10 years on me with Snap Cab, so I'll let him answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's been, it's been, uh, I think, a little over 10 years that we've been doing that for the, for the design sessions. Yeah, because it sounds like that's uh, very effective. You said 90% close rate. Sounds like that really helps, you know, helps the contractor, uh, you know, really, uh, and, and the end customer understand what they're getting. Yes. What's absolutely. Like. Uh, really, the whole process seems very simple. Uh, I like it a lot. Yeah. I mean, we feel like in this industry, most people who work in this industry wear a lot of hats, whether that be the elevator salesperson or even the contractor or the architect or designer, they have so many things they have to do with each job. So if we could streamline one process for them and make sure that we are being as efficient as possible with everyone's time involved and all we need is about an hour to do so, we, we love doing it. It's, it's, it's so efficient for everyone. Very good, very good. Uh, 
John, looks like there's a few questions in there. I don't know if you want to jump on those. Sure. Um, so one of the questions was, do we, have we sold projects in Mexico or in Latin America? I know we've sold projects in Mexico. Um, I'm unsure about Latin America, but I do know that we've sold projects in Mexico. Um, as far as do, do you work with materials outside of your catalog selections? Um, yes, we do. Uh, quite frequently, we have a we have a, a pretty robust custom shop. Um, but uh, as Brittany brought up, one of the things uh, you know, one of the things we would do is we would want to test the materials, make sure they are code compliant, um, since we're we're tying our name to that job. So. Yeah, and we can um, often do those through the design session. So once we understand what your customer's design intent is, then we can start building those uh, custom or modified cab interiors and be able to show them real time what it looks like. We start basically with a bare shell and start building based off of their design intent. So they're able to give see real time changes and give us real time feedback too. Hey, um, John, what about, uh, what, what would be the most common uh, material I mean, maybe you would, I would assume maybe the lowest price, but maybe not always. What, but what would be the most common material and, and cab that you guys spec? Um, I would think the most common would be uh, plastic laminate. Would you agree, Brittany? I would agree. I would say plastic laminate is uh, the largest seller just because of the cost point with it. But then as far as um, anyone with like a mid range to a high end budget, Gorilla Glass is probably our most uh, desirable finish that we offer. And then I see another, um, great. What is your lead time from order based on standards and custom or modified cab? So um, standard lead time is six to eight weeks. Um, for a custom order, uh, they do range because uh, custom materials generally don't fall within a within our standard lead time. Sometimes they could take 12 to 14 weeks, uh, depending on where the materials are coming from. So, um, so it's, it's just kind of hinged on the, uh, on the material lead time. But our standard lead time for all of our standard materials generally is six to eight weeks. And Brittany had, uh, just, to, just to add to that, Brittany had brought up about Gorilla Glass. Um, Gorilla Glass is, um, so we have a relationship with Corning. Um, we, we actually stock that glass in-house for, for our standard SKUs. We stock that in-house so that we can uh, turn those around as quick as possible. When it goes outside of that and it needs to be custom glass, uh, that's where it adds a little bit to the lead time, but it's, but it's not crazy. Um, they've brought all their manufacturing over to uh, the U.S. now, so we don't face uh, lots of shipping and and time dedicated to things like that. I'm pretty familiar with the the, uh, the Corning Gorilla Glass. We, we were involved with helping them uh, kind of get into the industry and work with you guys. And, and um, I was curious is, is how's that, how does that product compare in price to normal glass? Um, I would say, Brittany, would you say it's pretty uh, competitive? I would say it's, you know, it, it's definitely a, um, a premium product, uh, but the, the way we're able to adhere it and work with it, uh, I think it's pretty cost efficient given what it is. But I, I, I want to hear what Brittany has to say on that as well. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, so we have, it, it really depends on how much glass that you use. So you can truly change the appearance of a cab by changing out, just say, uh, the back wall in glass as opposed to laminate. Um, from a cost perspective, looking, at, I guess, if you were to compare Gorilla Glass to any other higher end glass, like perhaps um, like a pulp glass or something like that, cost wise, it does end up being very, very close in price, um, if not slightly less, depending on what you're doing with the glass. Because once again, you can, it's 100% one, it's customizable. So if someone just wants a back painted, say a white, uh, like a brilliant white back painted gorilla glass, that's going to be more cost effective than say, uh, if they wanted to do like a, a custom graphic, for example, behind the gorilla glass, but essentially it's a blank canvas, we can bring any sort of designs that you would like into the cab interior through our gorilla glass. 
of course, the benefit of that of that Gorilla Glass would be, um, I guess it's it's strength and you know limited you know uh, vandalism things like that. Is, is that correct? Yes, yes, that is uh, the largest benefit, in my opinion, to Gorilla Glass. Is yes, you do have the custom custom. You're able to like to customize it, but it's the increased durability that you offer or that it offers, um, it is the strongest material that we offer um, by far. And it, uh, it also, for if you have weight, uh, if weight's an issue for your project, it's also extremely lightweight given, uh, given that it's, I think it's four millimeters thick. Is that right? Uh, I believe two it's millimeters? Two, two millimeters. Yeah, sorry, two, two millimeters. Two millimeters thick. Do you sell to anyone who is do you sell to anyone who is interested in your product? Um, so we sell through, um, we sell through elevator maintenance companies. So that's one of the, uh, like Brittany was talking about with the design session. So we will meet with your customer if you're an elevator maintenance company, uh, but we don't disclose price unless, uh, unless the elevator maintenance company has given us a budget and we're, and, you know, and we're talking about the budget. Um, but we're not going to we're not going to disclose that price to the building owner. Um, and we, you know, given given that we have this relationship with elevator maintenance companies, we do uh, we only sell through elevator maintenance companies. Yeah, and to add to that a little as well is that it doesn't make sense for us to price out anything to a non elevator company because it's not the true price of the job. So the material cost, as we saw with the cost analysis, it's only a small portion of the cost. You have the labor, you have the permits and fees, you've got the mobilization, you've got the demolition. So there's so many other things that come into play whenever you're pricing out a cab interior renovation to where we can't provide a price without your help. So the way to ensure that it's um, going to be a complete turnkey job, we just sell directly to the elevator company and they provide the pricing to um, the customer. And then one other thing I was gonna mention about the question about Latin America. Uh, we do also sell, um, how John was mentioning, that we've done some jobs in Mexico. We've also done plenty of jobs in the Caribbean as well. So we do have uh, the capabilities to do international um, work. Yes. And we have jobs in Europe and yeah, we, yeah it's kind of it's all over the place. The, the, <laughs> the majority of it is in North America. Yeah. Uh, there's some other questions as well in the Q&A, John. I don't know if you're seeing those from, uh, from uh, Andrew Trapani. I'm not, no. Yeah, got a uh, number of questions in here that are really pretty good. Um, yeah, if you want to read them off, Bruce. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, so uh, Andrew is asking uh, how much labor time uh, is estimated and needed to prepare an existing cab for installation of uh, new finishes. So, um, so Brittany, do you want to, do you want to touch on that? I, I think um, you touched on it a little bit in the presentation. Yeah, sure. So, um, we're, we're, I guess we're discussing demolition. So typically with the demolition, what we're seeing from the mechanic feedback is the average demolition time. So that would include, um, like the mobilization and demolition would be two hours is what we're seeing for the national or I guess North America average. But also, I, I uh, always recommend just, you know, a site survey to be aware of what, what's existing because sometimes um, the things could be through bolted if it's a, a simplex unit and in a tight hoist way and it's through bolted, that's going to take a lot more time than just to hang on panels and removing those. So just uh, being mindful uh, to get some feedback maybe from your supervisor or uh, the on-site mechanic on how the existing panels are mounted. Just make sure the job is successful and well allocated for. Yeah, and another thing is we can, uh, you know, our, our project managers and our interior specialists are are are, uh, are very experienced with with all these things. So we could give you, you know, obviously we're not there at the site, 
uh, but we could give you some insight into what we think a demolition would, would take. Um, some people think that they have a demolition uh, and sometimes it's just laminated shell walls and things like that where you could just go right over those. So yes. um, we, can, we can give insight on that as well. Absolutely. And something else just to kind of piggyback off of that is we can accommodate um, a steel shell or we can accommodate like a skeleton shell. So whether it be like the Schindler 3300s or Otis LRVs, anything like that, that's a, the, the walls are the panels, we can accommodate those as well. Absolutely. Then I just saw another one come in. Uh, is there any promotional pricing or discounts if purchasing for multiple elevators? Um, yes, there is. It, uh, it does depend. It's dependent on, you know, how many cars. Um, so if you have a specific project, uh, I would say it's, it's, uh, it would be great to reach out to Brittany and discuss what kind of discount we can give you on that project. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, the way that we work, I mean, obviously we're going to gain efficiencies if, if we book a, a 10 car job and do all 10 cars at the same time, as opposed to breaking them up in segments of two. So if you're willing to let us produce them all together, we are happy to pass along those savings to you. Uh, looks like Andrew's got uh, a number of other questions here. He's talking about uh, cab lighting. Is the cab lighting dimmable? If so, can a remote dimmer be installed in the car operating uh, operating fixture? You want to take that, Brittany? Sure. Uh, <laughs> yes, all of our cab lights do come standard with dimmers. Um, since it's all elevator people on here, everyone knows Mandy Tech. So we partner with Mandy Tech and we source our lights through them. Um, so yes, they all come standard with a dimmer. Very good. Also, uh, he is asking um, that he, we, we said here that um, we've had cases where the cab wall panels are integral with the shell. I'm guessing that would preclude the use of the snap cap system. Have you encountered a situation like this? Um, so integral with the, so what you can do, I have come across that. And what you can do is you can pack out you can pack out the, the portions where, so, so you can get, get to a flat surface. Um, and once you get to a flat surface, you could still install a snap cab. Yeah, I would think optimal situation to be able to just, you know, limited demo and hopefully being able to just to go right over an yep. existing panel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, that's the perfect situation to, you know, as far as reduce labor and, you know, increased income from the product. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And if it's just, if it's just laminated shell walls where you, you can't remove those, the snap cap system goes right over it. Nice. Nice. Andrew's also asking for some, uh, a reference list of cabs in the New York city area, obviously jobs that have been done there that can be seen. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'll show you something real quick, Andrew. Um, so this installation map, here. This is actually on our website. Um, I believe it's listed under resources and then it should say interactive installation map. So on this map, you're able to zoom in to any city, even down to like the street name to figure out the style cab. It's going to tell you the style cab and the style of ceiling that's uh, installed in that building. So it's a really great resource if you want to show your customer, say you have a higher end customer and they want to see Gorilla Glass jobs. Uh, you can look on this interactive, um, this interactive map, or you can always reach out to your representative and they could um, give you some recommendations on some locations to look at. And the representative for the New York City area would be, uh, would be Joe Fay. Yeah. Um, so if there's any way to, we could pass along his information, if there's any way to, uh, I don't know what the best way would be to do that. Uh, yeah, I think what, what we might do is we can pass along Andrew's contact to you guys. Y'all can reach out directly to him. Perfect. Okay. Like Perfect. He's very, uh, very interested in the product. So um, looks looks like that is all the questions that we have. Uh, Brittany, John, do you guys have anything else? You guys want to make any final comments before we wrap up? Um, I, I guess I, I have a few things I could add. Uh, just essentially, I mean, we are, we're happy to help. Um, we, we love getting involved. Um, my 
title is interior specialist. So I hope that you do utilize all of the sales or tools that we have and all of the resources and support that we have to offer to just ensure that you have not only a successful sell, but that you're also building rapport to your customer. You're giving them this unique experience and you're ensuring that they are being well taken care of by working with SnapCab. So I hope to work with you in the future. And I think the only thing I would add is that we, we know your time is very valuable and we, we appreciate you spending this time with us. Um, and if there's anything you need, like Brittany said, please never hesitate to reach out. Awesome job, guys. Thank you very much, uh, Brittany and John. This was really a uh, very interesting, informative presentation about the SnapCab company and, and product. For all those attending, you can learn more, obviously, at snapcab.com. Each of you will receive a follow-up email that will have all contact information for the presenters, as well as a link to this webinar. It will also be posted on, on elevatorworld.com, as well as our YouTube page. So I'd like to personally thank everyone for attending and hope you have a great afternoon. Thanks a lot, Thank guys. you all. Thank you. Yeah.